Hello everyone. This video is going to answer a read one or read mirror data recovery question. The question is, my two hard drives from read one both failed. One is disk problem. We can hear the clicking sound. The other one is the PCB board problem. You can see the burn mark. The two hard drives are the same. I swap the PCB board, but the drive still doesn't work. Why? The answer to the question is, the PCB board firmware are different. Even the two drives are the same and from the mirrored read array. The solution is, do the firmware transfer before swapping the PCB board. The rest of the video, we are going to talk about what is the PCB board firmware, why do we have to transfer the PCB board firmware in order to swap the PCB board, what is the PCB board firmware, and why do we have to transfer the firmware before swapping the PCB board. One. One hard drive PCB board includes two parts, hardware and firmware. Two, the firmware includes hard drive's unique configuration data. Three, the hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the original, even if it is bad, board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. We want to mention three things regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware transfer. One, PCB board firmware transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrade. The PCB board firmware transfer is to transfer the PCB board firmware from one board to another board. Hard drive firmware upgrade is to upgrade the hard drive's own firmware. It has nothing to do with another hard drive or another PCB board. 2. We can do the PCB board firmware transfer from the physically damaged PCB board, like burned, watered, or other kind of damage. Our PCB board firmware transfer success rate is more than 95%. 3. We do the PCB board firmware transfer for our clients for free. This picture illustrated how the PCB board firmware transfer works. On the left hand side is the burned PCB board. On the right hand side is a good donor PCB board. We transfer the firmware from the bad original PCB board to the good donor PCB board. This picture shows the procedure how we do data recovery for our clients. First, the client send their hard drive to us. Second, we do data recovery. Third, we ship back the data to our clients. We receive many questions regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware, also called hard drive PCB board BIOS and the hard drive PCB board compatibility. So let's talk a little bit more about this in general. Some PCB board BIOS are in the independent memory chip, like the first picture shows. Some PCB board BIOS are integrated into the main IC, like the second picture shows. Most of the modern hard drives PCB boards need to do the BIOS transfer before swapping the PCB board. Even the donor boards are identical with the original boards in hardware. We have to transfer the BIOS from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. The third picture shows some of these PCB boards. But there are some hard drive PCB boards do not need the BIOS transfer. 
as long as the donor boards are identical with the original boards, you can swap the boards directly. The fourth picture shows some of this kind of boards. If you have any questions, such as how to find a donor board, if your board need to do the bias transfer, where is the bias of your PCB board? How to swap your PCB board? Please go to www.hdd-parts.com to check it out. Or you may take pictures of your hard drive and the PCB board and email to us. We will give you the correct answer. Thank you so much for taking your precious time to watch my video. Any comments are really appreciated. If this video is a little bit of help, could you please click on like to support me? Thank you again. Bye.